Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. After a few requests from our surveys, we've decided to make a new ITSM Professional Grow to Pro series and we'll be making these in parts. So welcome to part one of these new videos. Now, first of all, let's talk about the shift left strategy. Now, in ServiceNow IT Service Management, a shift left strategy is all about moving IT support closer to the end user, aiming to resolve issues faster and at a lower cost. Now, it achieves this by focusing on three key areas. The first one is self-service. So we can empower users to find solutions themselves through a well-designed self-service portal, but also utilizing the knowledge base. Second of all, automation. We can automate repetitive tasks like password resets. Um, and this essentially means that it's freeing up time for those service desk agents so that they can work on more complex issues. And then third, we have knowledge management. So we can create a robust knowledge base with clear and easy to follow solutions, which allow your end users to find answers to common problems without even needing to raise a ticket to contact the service desk. So benefits of this, obviously we have a faster resolution. Um, users can actually solve problems themselves. Second, it reduces costs. So self-service and automation deflect tickets from actually reaching higher levels of support, which is leading to cost savings. Third, we have improved user experience. So users are actually empowered to fix issues themselves, which is obviously increasing their satisfaction. And then lastly, it does free up resources. So those service desk agents can focus on much more complex problems and proactive tasks. Now, today, as Anna outlined at the start, we're going to cover some of our professional features. The focus will be on our virtual agent. So we will see in our demo um, how a user is actually able to interact with the virtual agent to self-serve, but also how they can go through and create a ticket as well. And then next, we'll be able to see how that is automatically assigned to our agent who's working in the service operations workspace using the automatic work assignment, which is our predictive intelligence in the platform. Now, taking a look at the demo roadmap today, we'll be focusing on two personas. First of all, we will have Storm, who is our end user, and navigate self-help in the employee centre by using the virtual agent. Next, we will see Laxmi, who is our service desk agent operating in the service operations workspace. We'll see advanced ticket routing, predictive intelligence helping her handle tickets by giving things like recommendations and searching through the instance for any other open incidents relating to the one that she's currently working on, seeing how predictive intelligence can help her with her ticket resolution. Now, let's have a look at this in the demo. Now we are in the employee centre as our persona Storm and today Storm is having some trouble sending emails. He's had this problem a few times before and he knows the best way to get immediate help on this is simply asking the virtual agent. As the virtual agent is available 24-7, it can handle tier one support topics and he can simply click here to start a new topic and get help straight away. Now, the virtual agent has these pre-built topic blocks, so we can choose a conversation here and load the conversation to start, or we can simply type the type of problem that we're facing into the text box. As the virtual agent also understands natural language, it can interpret this and reply with content completely correlating to what Storm has said. So here it's understood that we're having email issues and Storm can then specify which type and in this case he can't send emails. Now the virtual agent will begin recommending him some steps to try, adding in those elements of self-help, helping to deflect tickets from reaching the service desk. So there are a few things you can try, for example, check if the email you're sending has any attachments over 25 megabytes, and we are asked as our first step of ticket deflection, did these steps work for you? If we say yes, we can stop the conversation there and then. But if we say no, the virtual agent will keep recommending us stuff that we can continue to try and solve the problem for ourselves. 
Now we've been recommended some knowledge articles specifically linking to the type of issue that we're facing. So here we can see knowledge articles for Microsoft email. We can simply click the link and we can open up the knowledge article straight away have a read of this and the virtual agent will continue opening up with us on whatever chat window we open. So here we, here we can see we've opened a brand new tab, but the virtual agents come straight over with us. We can continue saying if we want some more support or if we can finish and happy to move on, as perhaps this knowledge article has helped us solve our issue in the first place. So we can say I'm all set. Did any of this issue information resolve your issue we can say yes or no in this case i'm going to say no as i want to show how this opens up a ticket but if we say yes that's our element of ticket deflection once again would you like to open an it ticket to go further yes or no in this case i'm going to say yes And here we can see a ticket opened up for us with all the information taken from what Storm said already pre-filled and pre-populated. And it's also been automatically assigned to the IT client engineering group. Now let's look at this from the agent's point of view. So we are now in the service operations workspace as our service desk agent lacks me. Laxmi has set her inbox to available, so she can now be routed incidents or tickets through advanced work assignment, one of those predictive intelligence features. Now, this routes tickets to agents specifically based on their skills, their availability and who is the best fit for the job. But you can also tailor these requirements to what best suits your business. Now Laxmi sees this coming through, she can either accept or reject this. If she rejects it, it would then go to the next best available agent. But today we're going to go ahead and accept this. Laxmi now has the incident open. And when we look through details, we can see all of this information from that initial virtual agent conversation has already been pre-populated and pre-filled for Laxmi. So no manual work whatsoever has gone into the creation of this incident. We can see the channel here is virtual agents and all the pre-populated data there, even down to the service and configuration item. Now there are also elements within this page using predictive intelligence to help Laxmi. For example, we have recommendation, recommended actions here at the site making this a parent incident and this the child incident. So if the parent incident is solved, this child incident can be automatically solved with it because the two of them directly correlate. And this one probably came first and has the bigger impact associated to it. We can also see recommended actions like copying resolution notes. Now we can see this is another similar incident where email is affected and this has been already solved. So we can look through this, read the resolution notes from this incident, test to see if a similar fix can be used to solve the one that Laxmi is currently working on and simply copy the resolution notes over, saving Laxmi a lot of manual work there. Now we also have our agent assist feature, which uses contextual search and once again, predictive intelligence to search through the instance for relevant items relating to the particular incident based upon the short description. So here we can see in the search bar, the short description has been automatically filled out for us. And we have this filter here on the side. So we can filter for specific things relating to this. For example, any similar open incidents. And we can view this in full and we can link the two incidents together. We can also see things like similar resolved incidents, which is where we get the ability to copy things like those resolution notes. We can see similar knowledge articles. Any open major incidents, any open outages. 
And when we see a similar article that we think might be particularly useful, we can also go ahead and attach this and recommend Storm to use it and have a read through. And once again, adding in those elements of self-help and ticket deflection. So I hope you can see just from within this workspace, all the elements of predictive intelligence specifically designed to help your service desk agents, giving them these critical insights into information, helping them resolve tickets faster and more intuitively. And that brings us to the end of today's demonstration. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any recommendations of what you'd like to see next, please let us know in the comments below. And please remember, this is just part one of the pro series. So look forward to more videos on the topic. Thank you. Bye.